Hello and welcome! I'm Michelle Anderson, the founder of Clarinet Mentors. I want to share with you some news that I think will help you be a better clarinet player for years to come. That's a pretty drastic statement, but I do believe in this quite a bit. Recently, I sent out um, a note to about a hundred people in the clarinet mentors community, a relatively small group. I knew they were people who were really involved in the clarinet and actively playing. And I was about to interview a friend of mine who's an expert in Alexander Technique. Alexander Technique looks at how we hold our body and how we move our body and can help us optimize those things to do many things better, often including playing a musical instrument better. And my question was, if you have any concerns about your body, anything about how you interact with your clarinet, what would it be? And what shocked me is how many emails I got about people who were experiencing some kind of finger, hand, or wrist pain. Now, many of these people had played for quite a while. Some of them were total beginners, but other things in their lives had caused strain in their wrist or hands. It might be that they did a lot of computer work and they had tendonitis, things that many of us in modern day life experience. Some of them were quite young, some of them were quite old, but that was the number one concern they had as clarinetists. And I certainly have met many people who have some kind of injury. I've experienced it myself, but I was shocked at the percentage. So if you're totally healthy, never had any problem with your hands or fingers, you especially should be listening to me because I want you to stay that way. I don't want you to experience injuries that make it hard to play clarinet and do all the other things in life we do with our hands. I think the best way to prevent injury to your hands and fingers when you're playing clarinet is to find some other way to support the instrument other than your right hand. Now, of course, our right thumb holds up the instrument and it is really important. You might remember when you first started playing clarinet as a total beginner that you kind of noticed your right thumb hurt at first. That's really common. I've just been working with some kids who are just starting in school and I noticed they're all complaining about that. When I started clarinet in my school band, our band teacher said, oh, don't worry, in a couple weeks you'll get used to it and you won't notice it. And to some extent that was true. I did get used to it. My own experience with injury is uh, I was at a, a wonderful summer music program that we played several hours a day. It was amazing music. I loved being there. But I was playing a lot and I was playing hard technical stuff that involved using my fingers really quickly. And my whole right wrist got so painful I could barely stand to play. And I knew at that time that it's possible to injure things in a way that can take you out of action for a long time. And I didn't want to do that because at that time I was really serious about playing my clarinet. And so one of my teachers suggested that I use a neck strap to take some of the weight off my arm. And I did some other things. I was very careful about, for a time, not overplaying. I did some stretches and things that a physiotherapist recommended. And luckily it recovered. When I felt like I was totally healed, I thought, oh, I can get rid of this neck strap. And I did, and I didn't like it without the neck strap because I realized that there had been other benefits to the neck strap. So let me share them with you. Other than taking the weight off your hand, which can help prevent injury to the right hand, it also um, allows the right hand to move more freely. With, without that added weight there, I felt like my finger technique got better. I was able to play faster. So if you're someone who wants to play faster, which many of us do, then that could be a real benefit. Also, I found when I was doing things with big leaps, maybe from lots of fingers on the keys to almost no fingers on the key, without the neck strap, my clarinet was more likely to move around. And that instability, moving the clarinet, can cause notes to not work so well. So it really helped to anchor things in a nice way. There were huge benefits to it. So I went back to using a neck strap all the time. Now I have to say the culture is changing in the clarinet world. When I first started playing clarinet, I asked my teacher, how come clarinetists don't use neck straps? I noticed my saxophone friends do, and he said, well, saxophones are very heavy. Clarinets, we don't need them. And it wasn't just we don't need them, it was this tone of only a wimp would use a, a strap if they were a clarinetist. But they're very, very helpful. And I want to show you a whole bunch of different designs of clarinet straps because there are so many great ones out there that there's kind of something for everyone. All the ones I'm going to show you are designed by BG and I have to say they are so thoughtful in thinking of how might a musician need to use one, what do we need to consider, and what's going to work. So 
by all means I'm not an expert on BG neck straps but I have a bunch here to show you and I've been having some of my students test them out and um, what I found is that they have different benefits and so I'm just going to share it with you I would love for you to consider trying something like this because I do think if you're injured it helps you recover if you're not injured it'll keep you from being injured which is a very very good thing so let me just say if you're feeling pretty healthy and you just want to test one out I would go with the basic clarinet strap it would look something like this this one um, has a nice leather back to it it's very comfy so when I put it around my neck it, it uh, distributes the weight pretty evenly and it's cushy so I don't find it uncomfortable at all and then we simply hook it into our thumb rest there's two ways we can do it on our thumb rest depending on what kind of thumb rest you have if you have a thumb rest with a ring like mine then there's a hook that simply hooks in and that holds the weight of my clarinet for many years I didn't have a thumb rest like this I just had the little peg that sticks out and if that's the case there's a little leather adapter that you slip over your thumb rest it's hard to do with my super jumbo one but it slips over and then there's a little um, ring that the hook goes through and what I used to do was just leave this leather adapter on my clarinet strap all the time like that and then I could just hook that through my thumb rest and it would hold the weight. It was very easy to do. So they all come with a leather adapter. Whatever kind of thumb rest you have, any of these neck straps will work on any kind of clarinet. But this is the basic one. Now, all of these neck straps come with two versions. They have a cord that's just solid. So once I have my clarinet in place and I have it set to the right height, it's not going to move around. Many of my students prefer that because you still have room to move if you move when you play, but it keeps it at kind of the perfect height for your mouth and weight. Having said that, there are other people who prefer a little bit of flex in it because maybe they like to move out and move in. And so all of these also do come with an elasticy strap. It's not super elasticy, but just a little bit of pull so that I can move the instrument a bit. So you can see when I pull this, I'm putting a fair amount of tension on there to move it. And I think that's just a matter of personal taste. I've used both, and I actually really like both. Um, when I first got my first clarinet strap, I believe that the elastic ones weren't available, and I grew accustomed to the solid one, which I really like. Um, then BG came out with this amazingly beautiful one. I don't know if you can see the sparkles here, the Swartzky crystals little bit of bling and the one I happen to have of that has the elastic strap. Now this particular one is the beautiful crystals with a, a rigid one so when I pull on it it remains firm. They're both great. So if you just want some glam in your life whether it's for special performances or everyday use these are kind of fun. Obviously it doesn't affect the functionality but it's nice to have. So personally that's kind of what I use these days just because it's fun to have. And I have both the rigid strap and the elastic key one. I like them both. Now, there are many people who have some kind of neck or shoulder injury. So, and maybe an arm or wrist injury at the same time. And that's always been a bit of a dilemma because I do know some people who say the traditional neck strap puts weight on them in a way that's a little uncomfortable. Let me say this, if you're pretty healthy in the neck and shoulders, that's a strong part of our body. If we're sitting with good posture, it is really our spine that's holding the weight. So I don't find that to be a problem for most people. But if you have some kind of neck injury, there are some other options. I'm wearing one right now, which I want to show you. I'm going to clip this one in. And they have a little, all these have a nice adjuster. So we get it to where we could very comfortably fit the clarinet into our mouth. And Right now, this one has two differences from the standard one. It sits a little bit wider on my shoulders, just a bit. And so instead of putting the weight on the sides of my neck, it's a little bit more on my shoulders. So that's taking weight off my neck completely. Um, right now, I'm letting the neck strap hold my weight. But here's what's cool about this one. I'm gonna have to turn around a little bit for you to see it. This has a yoke across the back and it goes all the way down and attaches like suspenders to my pants. See if you can see this. So in fact, what's holding my clarinet up as I'm sitting here 
is my pants. <laughs> For the most part, I do feel some weight on my shoulder. But if I have this adjusted properly, a lot of that's anchored to where I'm sitting down and my own weight is holding the instrument up. This takes a lot of weight off my shoulder. So it's a tiny bit more complicated to put on, but really not that much. So I just clipped it in there, got it set to the right length. And now that I have it set to the right length for me, it would be very easy to put it on and take it off as I need to. I think this is a breakthrough in, in clarinet playing. And I'll show you the picture here so you can kind of see it up close, right? So that's what it looks like on the shoulders. Um, you can see how it has nice wide straps to distribute the weight. And then on the back, there's the straps that go down as I was just modeling. And um, personally for me, that's more work than I need because my neck and shoulders are pretty healthy right now. But for some people, this would be hugely helpful and really useful. There are berry sack straps and standing bass clarinet straps that are like this. And by the way, today I'm just showing you the, the straps that are really designed for the little clarinet. There are many similar ones that are designed for bass clarinet, and perhaps I'll talk about those another day. Um, very similar to that, this is the same idea. Just has a slightly different neck strap, but it also comes down onto your back. And I. I think for anyone who might have tried a neck strap before, but is a little weary about having much weight on your shoulders, it is worth trying out for sure. So I'm definitely going to recommend that one. And I want to show you one other design. This one is kind of a hybrid of the two. This is called the yoke strap. Now it's very, very wide. And when I put this over my shoulders, because it's so wide, it sits way outside of my neck and puts the weight down. Now the weight is all still upon my shoulders, but it's really not cutting into my neck at all. And because it's so wide, it's quite comfortable. It's really distributing the weight. Now this one, just to show you the difference, has the springy cord. And again, that can work really, really well. So this one um, is a, just another way of holding it a little bit more comfortable. It's in many ways very similar to the basic one. It's just putting the weight in slightly different places. So I think that um, this one would be very good if you wanted to make sure you're keeping it off of your neck. But personally I think if you have neck issues I would go for the whole brace yoke that clips right in to your pants. <laughs> and I think that takes a lot of weight off of it. So we have kind of two basic designs. The one where most of the weight's on your neck and shoulders, pretty well mostly your shoulders. You can get it plain leather, plain nylon, you can get it springy cord, tight cord. You can have the super glamorous crystal version. Ooh, so pretty. Or the full, um, the full suspender strap version, which I was modeling earlier. I highly recommend these. I think for any of you who've experienced any kind of hand or wrist pain, it frees it up. Now, there is still a little bit of weight on your arm, but not much. You could see when I was just letting the clarinet dangle from the, the suspender strap, the brace one, that I wasn't holding it at all with my hands. My hands are more there just to balance it and to worry about moving their fingers across the clarinet keys. It really does free up our hands. And one of the things we want to aspire to as clarinetists is to have very light fingers. And if there's not a lot of weight on them, it's easier for us to be light and gentle. So I want to thank my friends at BG who sent me this sample to look at. I've been trying them with my students. Uh, you know, people are telling me which ones they like. In general, most people love just the basic neck strap. Um, anyone who's worried about their neck and shoulders love these other ones. So I'm tossing that out there for you. I would love to hear from you. Do you have any hand or finger injuries or aches or shoulder aches? And how do you deal with it on the clarinet? Um, certainly there's some exercises that people can do that might help heal faster or help us warm up and you know simple stretching, gentle stretching of our fingers or wrists but there are other things for us to consider. I think as an accessory a neck strap is a great thing to have and you're gonna see some famous players using it. This lovely crystal one here Ricardo Morales plays with regularly and I think he's one of the most accomplished clarinet players alive today and for him, it's also just a matter of 
keeping good health and having that stability there. All right. If you've enjoyed this video, I would love to hear from you. Put your comments in the box below. And I also have an invitation for you. If you're not already a member of the Clarinet Mentors community, it's completely free to join. Just go to learnclarinetnow.com and sign up. I create educational videos like this about once a month and I put them out in a newsletter and along with the video, I include some of my favorite pointers on clarinet playing. It might be fun new gadgets I've found like these neck straps. It could be some great sheet music or print music that I think you'd really enjoy. Sometimes it's special clarinet events. Sometimes I host online, ask me whatever clarinet question you want events and they're free for anyone in the clarinet mentors community to join. So there's lots of information that I love to share with you. I really enjoy meeting clarinetists from all over the world and I'd love to have you join my community. Thanks so much for being here and I hope to see you on one of the next clarinet mentors videos.